All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can get the best performance and just overall the best user experience from the Sony WH-1000XM5. And in order to do that, we're basically going to do a deep dive in the Sony Headphones Connect app. So if you're familiar with Sony's product lineup and you're familiar with the Sony Headphones Connect app, a lot of this information you'll probably already know. But if the Sony XM5s are your first pair of Sony active noise canceling headphones, then this video will be pretty beneficial for you. So the first thing you wanna do is download the app. So I already have it installed on my phone. So let's go ahead and get it pulled up. So this is pretty much the default dashboard. Um, it has everything split up into four different tabs. So you have your status tab, you have the sound tab, you have the system tab, and then you have this services tab. So let's go ahead and go back to the status tab. So the first thing that you see there is the adaptive sound control. Uh, so pretty much what adaptive sound control is, um, the headphones can automatically adjust the level of ambient sound based on two different things. So it can adjust it based on your activity level or it can adjust it based on your location. So if we go ahead and click on that adaptive sound control, it takes you to this window here and you can see you've got a number of different options here. Uh, the first one being detection of actions. So if we click on the settings icon there, it takes us to this screen and basically you have four different activities. So you can see you have staying, you have walking, you have running and you have transport. So pretty much you can set your desired level of ambient sound for each of those activities. And then when the headphones detect um, that you are doing those activities, it will automatically switch over to your desired ambient sound setting. So for staying, I have it set to full noise cancellation because if I'm just, you know, sitting around lounging, I don't really need to hear, you know, my ambient sounds, but for walking, uh, you can see that I have it set to ambient sound level 20, which is the highest setting uh, because if I'm wearing the headphones and I'm walking more than likely I'm outdoors. So if I'm outdoors with my headphones on, I do want to hear what's going on around me uh, just for safety reasons and pretty much the same thing for running as well. If I'm working out with these and I'm running outdoors, I want to be able to hear traffic. I want to be able to hear if somebody's coming up behind me. So Again, I have ambient sound level 20 so that I can hear those things. And then when it comes to transport, you can see that I have full noise cancellation uh, because if I'm on a plane, if I'm on a train, a bus or anything of that nature, I want to cancel out as much noise as possible um, just so that I can have a comfortable travel experience. So let's go ahead and click done. So the other option that you have um, you can choose, like I said, to have the headphones change your amb ambient sound based on your location. So the headphones can actually um, kind of learn locations that you frequent and pretty much learn the settings that you use at those locations. And you can do it that way. Uh, but the easier way is going to be to come down here and go to register from map. So if we click on this plus icon, you can see it takes you basically into Google Maps and I can pretty much use this and go anywhere on the map and choose a location. So I'm just going to pick, I don't know, a random location. So I don't even know if that's a real place. And then we're going to hit next. So you can designate what this location is. Let's just say this is the gym and then we'll click next. And then from here, um, you can choose your desired settings. So the ambient sound control as well as things like your desired EQ settings um, and your speak to chat settings. You can choose you know, which settings you want for that specific location. So as soon as you step foot in that location, your headphones automatically know what to do. So if we go in here and click on edit, let's go ahead and set ambient sound to level five. And then maybe when you're at the gym, you like to lift, listen to a lot of bass heavy music. Um, so let's go ahead and click on edit again, and then you can click add slash delete items. And then you can go ahead and check mark next to equalizer. And let's go ahead and check mark next to speak to chat 
while we're in here as well and then go ahead and click OK. So when you're at the gym, maybe you like bass heavy music. So you can go in here and go all the way to bass boost and we'll leave that set to that. And then maybe when you're at the gym, you like to have the speak to chat feature turned on so we can turn that on as well and then click OK. So from there, you can go ahead and come down here to the switching method so you can have it switch automatically um, so that again, when you step foot in the gym, those settings will automatically go into effect or you could have it switch from a notification. Um, so basically it's going to notify you um, that you're at the gym and it's going to ask you and make sure that you want to switch into your custom settings. So I'm just going to leave it on switch automatically and then we'll go to register. So that's how you would go about setting up locations in the map. So let's go ahead and go back. And now let's take things over to the sound tab. So if you don't want to use adaptive sound control and rely on the headphones to make adjustments for you, you can come in here on the sound tab and click on ambient sound control. And then this is where you can dial in the settings yourself. So uh, you can have full noise cancellation or you can click on ambient sound and you have this adjustable slider, uh, which you can adjust to the left or to the right, depending on exactly how much ambient sound you wish to be able to hear or you can turn things off and not use either. So that is how you dial the settings in yourself. Now, if we scroll down, uh, this is where you can turn on the speak to chat feature. So if you're not familiar with this feature, uh, basically when you turn this on, whenever you're wearing the headphones, the headphones can detect any time that you start speaking. So if you have the headphones on and somebody walks up to you to have a conversation and you reply to that person, the headphones will automatically lower the volume of your music if you're listening to music and activate your ambient sound uh, so that you can hear what's going on and then effectively have a conversation. So before on previous Sony products, um, the lowest interval that you could have until your music and your noise cancellation settings would resume uh, was I believe 15 seconds. But now on the XM5s, they have shortened that to five seconds so whenever you stop speaking, you don't have to wait as long for your music to resume. So that's definitely a nice upgrade. Also, if five seconds is not low enough for you, uh, a pro tip is that if you do have speak to chat turned on and you start speaking, as soon as you stop speaking, you can just double tap on the right ear cup to immediately go back into the settings that you had it on before. So. Again, if you don't want to wait a full five seconds, just double tap on the right ear cup. So you also have the option to adjust the sensitivity of this feature. Um, so I like to have mine set on low sensitivity. That way the headphones don't pick up on every little noise that I make. So if I'm like coughing or if I'm like humming to the song that I may be listening to, hopefully it won't pick up on that and automatically turn on the ambient sound and turn down the volume of my music. So let's go ahead and go back. And then if we scroll down a little bit more, this is where you have your equalizer. So you have a number of different presets that you can choose from. And you also have the option to come up with your own preset. So if you go in here to manual or if you go to custom, you can click on this little settings icon. And this is where you can adjust your own custom EQ. So you can see this is my preferred custom EQ at the moment. Um, if you want to give this a shot, go ahead and screenshot and uh, try it out. I think it sounds pretty good, um, but you can see it is a five band equalizer. And then you have another little uh, band down here, which controls the bass. Um, so it's kind of a separate little EQ band just for the bass. And then down here is where you have the 360 reality audio setup. Uh, to be honest, I don't really use this uh, because it only supports a very small list of apps, uh, music apps. And none of them I really have access to. So I pretty much don't use this at all. But if you're interested, um, this is where you would access those settings. And then right underneath that is where you have the Bluetooth connection quality. So you can choose to set the priority on a stable connection or you can choose to set the priority on sound quality. So I pretty much always leave it on priority for sound quality because uh, I never really have any issues as far as the connection with these headphones. And then also this is the setting that you want to use 
if you plan on using the LDAC codec, which is only available on Android, by the way. So if we continue to scroll down, uh, the last thing that you see here is the DSEE Extreme. So pretty much what this setting does, uh, the best way I can explain it is that it just tries to upscale any audio that you're listening to. Um, these days with most modern music, it's not gonna make a huge difference, uh, but I always leave it turned on uh, just to give myself the best chance for the most optimal sound quality. So um, again, you might leave it turned on, not gonna make a huge difference in most cases, but it doesn't hurt. So from there, if we go to the system tab, the first thing that you're gonna see here is connect the two devices simultaneously. So just like the previous XM4s, uh, the XM5s do feature multi-point connection. So you're able to connect the two devices at the same time and pretty much switch back and forth seamlessly between you know which device is actually playing media. So if we turn that on, um, that is going to require them to reconnect to your phone uh, because you cannot use the priority sound quality that we just took a look at when you're using multi-point connection. And also with that, if you're using the LDAC codec, um, you can't use that when you have the multi-point connection turned on. The next option that you have is setting up your voice assistant. So you can choose to use the built-in voice assistant of your phone or you can use Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. So whichever of the three suits you the best, uh, this is where you can make that selection. And then underneath that, um, this is where you can disable or enable uh, the touch sensor of the headphones, uh, which is just the outside surface of the right ear cup. So maybe you're afraid that you'll accidentally touch the headphones and accidentally make adjustments to your music you do have the option to turn the touch sensor off completely, but let's go ahead and leave it turned on. So if we scroll down a little bit further, um, you have this quick access option, uh, which pretty much allows you to assign a custom function uh, to the noise cancellation and ambient sound control button. So it's pretty limited. Uh, basically, all you can really do is choose to open up Spotify uh, by either double pressing or triple pressing that button. Um, so if you happen to use Spotify, uh, this would definitely be helpful. Otherwise, if you don't use Spotify, then it doesn't really make much of a difference. And then if we continue to scroll down, you also have the automatic power off option, which I do recommend leaving turned on. Uh, this way, if you take the headphones off and you forget to power them down, they will automatically turn off after a set amount of time. Uh, so this can definitely help you prolong your battery life. And then from there, if we go down further, um, you also have the automatic play and pause. Uh, so you can turn this on or off. So pretty much when it's turned on, anytime you remove the headphones from your head, your music will automatically pause. And then once you place them back on your head, it'll automatically resume. And then from there, uh, another important feature is going to be the automatic download of software. So most cases you want to leave this turned off because not all software updates are necessarily good. Uh, sometimes you get an update and it ends up messing up a feature that you really like. So it is good to have the option to learn about the update and see exactly what it does before you decide to download and install it to the headphones. And then all the way at the bottom, you have the option to initialize your settings. So pretty much if you want to do a factory reset of all of your headphone settings, you can come in here and it gives you that option. So if we back out of here and go into that fourth tab, the services tab, this is pretty much what allows you to finalize setting up that quick access feature that we took a look at earlier, uh, where you can choose to launch Spotify. So if you look down towards the bottom, you also have three different tabs down there as well. Um, so we've been utilizing the headphones tab, but if you click on the activity tab, uh, this gives you access to some helpful information. Um, so I actually just started using this. Uh, you do have to kind of sign up and give the app access to track your activity, uh, but it will give you some useful information as far as how much you use the headphones and things of that nature. And then up top, you have this safe listening tab, uh, which will actually help you out if you're concerned about your hearing and trying to prolong your hearing as long as possible. So pretty much it will track uh, like your volume levels over a period of time and it will let you know 
if you're listening at a level that is considered to be safe. If you're listening at 100% volume for long extended periods of time, this is gonna keep track of that and let you know that maybe you should consider lowering the volume. So definitely a helpful feature. And then if you ever have any questions as far as how to use the controls or anything about the headphones, if you click these three circles up here in the top right corner, um, you do have a tutorial and it's going to take you to this page right here, uh, which is pretty much gonna tell you everything that you need to know. So again, if you have any questions on how to use the buttons on the headphones or how to use the touch sensitive controls on the right ear cup, this is gonna be a useful area within the app. So that's gonna cover it for this video. Again, if you're new to the Sony product lineup, Hopefully this video was helpful, and if it was, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna see how the Sony WH-1000XM5s stack up against the AirPods Max, check out this video right here.